A function f of x satisfies the following equation. f of x plus f of y is 1 over f of x, y for all positive x and y, and we're also told that f of x is always positive. We want to know what is the value of f of 2021, and we've been given five options here. This was taken from the maths admissions test for the University of Oxford back in 2021, unsurprisingly, given there's so many 2021s floating about here. And uh, we've also been given a small hint at the bottom, which is to be rare, at least for the maths admissions test. But anyway, it tells us to try substituting x equals 1 and y equals 1 into the given uh, expression, or I should say, given equation. OK, uh, and here's a hint for you as problem solvers. Um, whenever a hint is given, you generally want to use that hint so that you don't get any bonus points for not using it. Uh, so you may as well use it. So let's sub in x is 1 and y is 1. So we get f of 1 plus f of 1. That will be 2f of 1 equals, and on the right-hand side, we're going to have 1 over f, and then 1 times 1 is just 1. Oops. Yeah. So 2f of 1 equals 1 over f of 1. OK, let's multiply both sides by f of 1. So we get f of 1 squared times 2 equals 1. And so if we divide by 2, f of 1 squared is a half. Great. And square rooting gives us f of 1 is 1 over root 2. We don't have to worry about plus or minus here because we're told f of x must be positive. Cool. So we get for free the value of f of 1. But we're interested in f of 2021. OK. Um, well, what do we get if we plug in 2021 into the equation? Well, what do we plug in for 2021? x or y or both? Now, it doesn't actually matter if we choose x or y because this is nice and symmetric. If I sub x is 21, 2021 and y is 2021, there wouldn't be much use to that because then I'd get f of 2021 squared in the denominator, and I don't know what that is. But what I do know is what f of 1 is. It's 1 over root 2. So let me just sub in 2021 and 1 into the equation. So I get f of 2021 plus f of 1 equals 1 over f of 2021 times 1 is 2021. Great, so we've got an equation now where we know what f of 1 is. It's just 1 over root 2. And now the only other unknown is f of 2021, which is the thing we're trying to work out. OK, cool. Let's let's work out what this is. I'm going to call f of 2021 something, just so I don't have to keep writing it. Let's call it k. OK, so we get k plus 1 over root 2 oh, is 1 over k. Let's multiply by k. So k squared plus 1 over root 2 k uh, equals 1, so minus 1 equals 0. And now we've just turned this into a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic formula if we want to. So the quadratic formula tells us that k is going to be minus 1 over root 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 1 over root 2 squared is a half minus 4ac. So minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 all over 2 times 1, like so. Well, minus 1 over root 2 is minus 1 over root 2. What do we have inside the square root? Well, it's half plus 4. So that's 4.5 or 9 over 2. And if we square root that, we're going to get, uh, well, I'll just write it as 9 over 2 for now. But then the 9 is going to square root to 3. So it's going to be minus 1 over root 2 plus or minus 3 over root 2 all over 2. Now, of course, f of x is positive. So we know k must be positive, so we can ignore the negative solution. So it's minus 1 over root 2 plus 3 over root 2. That's 2 over root 2. Oops. And then divided by 2, that gives us 1 over root 2. So the answer is d, 1 over root 2. Now, you may have noticed that in this solution here, I didn't actually use the number 2021 at all. There was nothing special about 2021. You can replace 2021 in this argument with any number you want. And what's quite cool then is that this function, therefore, is a constant. So f of x is the constant function, uh, 1 over root 2.